Yeah, you know, tough loss on Saturday, 45 North Louisiana. Uh, what's kind of the feel in the locker room? How, how's everyone how's everyone faring? Uh, it's kind of a quick turnaround. We kind of had to eliminate that from our thoughts. Like, we had to leave that in the past and quickly move on because we know we're better than that. We know, we know that's like an embarrassing loss. But there's not really much to say or do about it. you just got to move on and focus on the task ahead, which is you alone. Do you feel like a moment like that can kind of be a motivator for the rest of the season, kind definitely. of the, a bad loss? Yeah, I know that hurt everyone. So I feel like that can definitely switch it like that. But we're not worried about the next four games. We're just worried about, honestly, Spav just makes it clear that we're going day by day, rep by rep, and just focusing on ourselves for now. That's just what we got to do in order to win. You know, you, you've been kicking the ball really well, as we just heard your stats at the beginning of it. Is a do you, do you feel what, what for you specifically has is, is gone better this year, and where do you think you've grown as a as a punter? I don't know if I have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this has been. I started off the year pretty. I would have liked to start off a little bit better. I've started to feel a bit more rhythm for the past few weeks, but I know there's still a lot I can work on. It's really just more experience. I've just felt more comfortable the last few weeks out there just getting back to it. So, yeah, a bit shaky at the start of the year. You could say you've gotten better at recognizing your weaknesses. You know, I have, there's, yeah. there's something there. <laughs> but, uh, well, how, how do you think you can get better? What, what, what aspects do you see in your game that you want to improve? Uh, definitely a lot of different parts, like probably implementing more of a spiral punt just to change it up at times and give the, uh, like the rush team a different look just so it's not predictable what we're doing and making sure they're not checking us out of everything and knowing where we're going to punt it next. So just adding more different, like different style of punts. But that's just, that'll just come when they feel confident in me doing it and, and I'm ready to do it. That, that's when that'll happen. But apart from that, it's really just focusing on my job only and not getting too carried away with the uncontrollables. That's what's helped me lately. Seamus, uh, what makes you say you had kind of a shaky start to the year? Uh, no, probably just one or two punts from every game. I would have had liked back. Like I just would have liked to have him back and do him again, but that's happened. That's nature. And then how do you feel like you, you've kind of moved on from that and, and gotten better later in the year? Yeah, just different different things, watching a lot of film, seeing, seeing the tactics, seeing what we can execute better. And Really just talking to Coach Whitworth a lot about just what my goals are and how can I how can I accomplish them. So we just heard your dad's a percussionist, uh, your cousin's an ex gamer, and your brother's a punter at JMU. Mm -hmm. So in that order, just kind of let's talk about them. What, what's uh, what's their stories? And uh, my dad, yeah, he was he's retired now, but he was traveling the world a lot, like while I was growing up. He was just in different symphony orchestras in different countries. So he did that a lot in my childhood. And then now he owns a percussion stop shop in my home state. So he did that so he would get to spend a bit more time with the kids. So that was nice of him. Do you, play, left the other Do you play instruments at all? No, I kind of dabbled with a, like four instruments, but I quit pretty early on with every one of them. <laughs> so yeah. I don't have the same drive for the music that he does. And then my cousin Scotty is a snowboarder. He's done that his whole life. And he's doing really well. He's at the top of the game right now. So he's killing it. And Harry's in his last season at JMU right now. So no Sunbelt matchup with Harry? Unfortunately not, no. Oh, man. I would have loved that. What's what's Scotty's last name? James. You ever seen him? Uh, you go to any of his? Yeah, I've been to a few of his events. Uh, my first time in America was Colorado in 2016, and I went and saw, like, I just went after I graduated high school, came to America and stayed with him for a month. He's got a place in Breckenridge. So we just, he kind of taught me the moves, and I watched one of his events. It was pretty cool. What, who's uh, do you and your brother have a competition? Or are you guys more helping each other out, or what's it like? I'm two punting. punters? Yeah. Nah, we don't really compete like that. He probably would like to. <laughs> He's having a good year though, so 
I'm not competing with him this year. It'll be next year. <laughs> older brother, I assume, right? Older brother, yeah. Cool. cool. He's three years older. What about uh, you know, ULM? Have you gotten a look at their special teams at all? What kind of? Briefly, yeah. I've looked at the just. I mainly look at like the time returner, what they're trying to do. But I know it's it's a different task every week. He's he hasn't had too many explosive plays, like. But we know he's, what he's capable of. He's like one of their best receivers. So all the guys in this league can can move pretty well and make something of nothing if you give them a chance in the space.